What is happening guys? Thanks for stopping back by the channel today, right here with the Rust Belt Mechanic. We are going to be doing something just a little bit nice, fun, and easy today on the Duramax. Yep, got the Duramax going again. And what we're going to be paying attention to is a little bit more lighting. You have a look at her. We're going to be doing a light bar. I picked up one on uh, Amazon deal, really good deal this last week. Ended up getting a 32 inch light bar, which by my calculations and looking at the uh, front of the Duramax will fit just nicely be behind the grill. It'll fit, it'll provide a bunch of light. I don't know, let's crack into it and uh, see how it goes. So the light bar I ended up getting was from Autotune, just on Amazon. It's a cheaper light bar. It's just something that everybody's going to be able to do. It ended up being like 48 bucks, so something really simple, easy. It came with a 32-inch light bar, everything it takes to mount it, and the uh, harness that it comes with also for hooking everything up that you need. Uh, you will have to do a little bit of extra bracket making to make it work on your Duramax or your Chevy truck, but I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with it at least to, uh, you know, make it work for me. So what I got was this here, this Auto-Tune, 32 inch light bar, does enough for spot and spread on the light. It's gonna look really good. It's gonna give us a lot of extra light. It's gonna complement all those extra LEDs that I put on the truck for making it extra bright going down trails and down uh, some of my buddy's driveways in the middle of the night. It's gonna look really awesome. Uh, but the first thing I wanna do is I wanna take care of that nasty, looking a bracket that's behind the grill that just sticks out because it's never painted so we're going to paint that first then we'll get the light bar put on so i've got some rust-oleum universal paint and primer black yeah. that's what i got sitting around the garage so that's what's going to make it look good So now that we got our bracket all painted up, it looks good. You know, it looks a lot better than the uh, uncoated metal material. So now what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to get something that goes all the way across here that we can mount our light bracket to. We want it to sit about an inch to two inches above this bracket here that goes across. So we're going to need to make something that goes 32 inches out right about in this area. And I found something in my garage. I found an old piece of uh, plexiglass. So I'm going to end up using that because it's easier to work with. It's still stiff. It's still rigid. I know a lot of guys are going to bang on me for, you know, not using steel or aluminum piece or whatever. But it's what I have available. And that's what I'm going to use. So here is the uh, piece of plexiglass I'm going to be using. It is three quarters of an inch thick. So it's thick, heavy duty. It's going to be able to hold what I need to and I'm gonna get some self tappers. So be able to put a couple in each side on this part of the bracket and then my light bar is going to fit right there like that, which will give a good spacing, still give me plenty of airflow through to my radiator and my condenser and give me the light that I really want. So for reference here, this piece of plexiglass, I cut it exactly 32 inches long. It'll fit nice with the brackets that I have. I spaced it up from this bracket with a 2x4, so that's how much spacing. And then here from the ends, I went four and a half inches out from the end of this bracket on both sides. That leaves it perfectly centered and perfectly spaced high enough to go through the middle part of the lower valence of our grill. So we're going to pre-drill a couple of holes in through here to get where we need to go. We 
there we go. A pair of each of those to hold it in. So we'll get that screen in place here real quick. Since I've already planned on running my wiring on this side of the truck, that's where we are going to put everything else, put it the wiring here. Here we are, nice and sturdy. And it looks like that's gonna set on there just perfect. So one thing that I definitely don't see often enough is people explaining how and why these lights and the electrical systems work how they work. So I'm gonna explain to you guys again, this is the harness that comes with this light bar and you need to hook it up how they say. And I'm gonna explain how and why that is. Do you have to use a relay, a nice ground a switch, power, fuse, and then your output to your light. I'm gonna show you here on this relay how a relay circuit works. So on these relays and every single relay, we'll get it to focus here, there are four main pins. There is a 30, and 87, those are your main power relays, or plugs to the relay, and then there's an 85 and 86 portion. So how a relay works is it uses a small current circuit to control a large current circuit. So on your 85 and 86 circuit, we will start with that first. That is what goes to your switch, the switch that's inside of your vehicle. You will get power that comes into the vehicle through the switch, and then out to a ground source. That will, you turn that one on and off, and that will actuate the control part of the circuit. And then you have the power side. You have power and ground on there. Power goes to 12 volt, straight battery, because you don't want the straight battery feed of how many amps are going through this going straight through your switch that will melt switches if you just put a switch directly in line with a lot of these bigger light bars. It just won't work, that's how you melt down your truck. You have your power circuit then going out to your main source, the power and ground of that. So your small circuit of your switch turns on the relay, which turns on the power that you have plugged into power, then go to the ground, goes to your main source. So these harnesses make it very easy they do it as a dummy proof thing. Hook up these two to your light bar. This one goes to ground. This one goes to power. And your switch goes inside your truck. They make it easy and stupid proof as long as you do it that way. But hopefully that gave you a little bit more insight of how these work and why they work, why they need to. So right here, is the wires and I already actually had a when I purchased this truck I had a light bar above the roof which that cab light bar is just the dumbest idea they make way too much noise so I have a wiring harness already sitting here ready to go so when you put these on here that's another one of the biggest pet peeves is people don't use the correct things you can either solder these or get a good set of weatherproof crimps these butt connectors you're able to crimp these together, make them nice and easy there, and then they have heat shrink to them as well, which will make these 
weatherproof. I see so many guys using these freaking household twist ties to put these things together and they wonder, why did my wiring and my light bar fail after like six months? Well, that's why you big dummy. The very last thing that you big dummies need to do is zip tie your chit out of the way. That's a big, big pet peeve of mine is seeing these guys that have these haphazard wires that are just hanging out in the middle of nowhere or worse yet, you know, where your hood goes up and down or in a fan belt or something stupid. Take the extra time, zip tie your harness so it hugs other harnesses and is out of the way of all other stuff. Spend the extra dollar and 95 cents on some hyper tough freaking zip ties and do the shit right. That way you won't have more headaches down the road. Let's get this thing all lit up and see how bright we are. We're gonna get these things turned on and see how they look. I think that project turned out really cool. It was really easy, really cheap, something that everybody can do for their Chevy or Duramax truck, that's for sure. One thing that I just wanna make sure that you take away from this is do it right and do it right the first time. Save yourself headaches down the road. Even though you guys are doing a cheap, easy, quick mod, do it right and it's gonna be awesome, that's for sure. One other thing I wanted to point out was the awesome shirt that I'm wearing today, Duramax Life t-shirt. They are for sale over at Truckmaster's channel. I'll put the link in the description down below. He's got some of those left. He also has Duramax Life badges, the emblems that you guys can put on the back glass of your truck like I have before. So make sure you go and check those out. Thanks again for tuning in today, guys. I really appreciate all your support, help throughout the channel. Make sure you hit that like, subscribe, Comment down below what you think of this video today, guys. Thanks, and you guys stay awesome.